morning guys welcome back to mojo grip mike here today i've got a rare helicopter for you behind me is a two-seater experimental it's called the rotoway stay tuned so guys in front of me is a rotoway a600 and if you see where it's standing it's your eyes are not deceiving you this thing came out of the garage okay this is i'm standing in front of the owner's garage right now and this is an experimental helicopter that you can build in there and then even fly it right from your home okay so let's take a quick tour of it so the first thing that stands out or that i see is that this is a two-seater if you guys remember if you've been following the channel uh two years ago i reviewed another experimental helicopter called the mosquito actually that's one of the most viewed video on this channel and some of the comments on that video was can we see a two-seater well, guys, this here is a two-seater. This is a two-seater helicopter that you can build by yourself in your garage. All right, so the first thing you see also is that, look, those are the rotor blades, just two of them. Keep it simple. See how long they are? And the owner did a really neat job. I love the paint color scheme on this. Uh, you see it's just white, and then you've got some neon green all around just to highlight them here and then up top there you've got gray dark gray but let's let's keep moving so with rotorway you actually have two different models that you can build they have the standard kit and then you have the turbo kit this one here is a turbo kit and what that means is you have a turbocharged engine uh, this aircraft has a vw 168 horsepower engine and you can see the turbocharger down here Okay, and the engine bay is located right in there, All right, right behind the seats there. And this engine powers this thing up. You can climb about a thousand feet per minute. Your cruise speed, you're looking at 80, 90 miles per hour. And with the full gas tank, you can go about two hours. So two hours flight time, and you're not going anywhere far, okay? You can go about 100, 200 miles uh, in this thing with full tanks. You have 17 gallons total. Of usable fuel now if you look here this is something because I'm not I'm still fresh when it comes to helicopter and I thought this was really neat so helicopters excuse me helicopters just like airplanes have the different surfaces or control surfaces that helps keep things balanced so if you look here this is something similar you see on a tricycle standard airplane right this is your horizontal stabilizer all right you've got your tail boom here which extend all the way and here, the horizontal stabilizer, and you come back here to the tail, you've got your tail rotors or rotor blades, and another control surface, well, it's not really a control surface, more of a stabilizer here, is the vertical. I hope you can see it because the sun is shining opposite here, but so you've got the vertical stabilizer here, which helps you out in flight, and you've got your strobe lights there, you move forward now something really interesting I want to show you guys so if you come down here you wonder what this thing is on an aircraft you might think maybe this is your pitot tube or something right uh, but this is a counterweight balance all right so depending on how many people that you have in the aircraft now there's only two seats but if you're the only person flying if it's just one person flying the aircraft then you want to have weights here or up here, which I'll show you. So you counterweight the, the helicopter. So you see this right here? You move it to the back, depending on how many people are flying the aircraft. So I thought that was pretty neat. So that helps you keep your CG in the right place. For my non pilot viewers, CG is very, very important whenever you're flying, whether it be a helicopter or an airplane. All right, so let's check out the interior. So to get in the, the helicopter, you've got two doors, one on this side and the other side. Just kind of move the door. You see, it's kind of like a, it goes in a diagonal like that, which I thought is pretty neat. So the interior in this thing, I think, is very neat. First, you look at the cabin space. It's a lot of room in here for two people. Two grown adults will sit in here comfortably. You've got the leather seating. Okay, and the first thing I want to show you up is up here. See how much, how, how many switches you've got? Not a lot. All right, so all of your electric switches are up here, and then you've got your 
literally two rows of circle breakers. All right, but before that, see the cockpit too? You've got one glass screen here or for your avionics, which is MGL. So for a lot of people who may be new to experimental, MGL is a staple brand when you're building either an airplane or a helicopter. Uh, the reason why a lot of people or pilots uh, go for MGL is because you can you can modify them, okay? And as the owner did for this aircraft. So you've got your one screen here, and then if you come down, you've got what looks like your traditional old school uh, analog gauges. These are digital, okay? You see your RPM gauge to the right there, altimeter, uh, your speeds, all of it is right here. And the cool thing with this particular model is all of this has redundancy. So if one, they're connected to a different circuit. So if some one breaks out or goes out, you've got a backup. So that way, hopefully you always have uh, something to look at and know what's going on in, with the aircraft. And then you come to the bottom, you've got more screens. And then below that, you've got your fuel shutoff valve. All right, now, something else you see here, these are your pedals or directionals. In an airplane, these are what you call your rudder pedals, but here they're directionals, but you can still call them pedals. And you have one on each side. And also, I don't know if you can use your eyes to measure the leg room in here, but it's, it's a pretty neat amount a good amount of space for you to stretch your legs and be able to control the aircraft. And then also on both sides, you've got your side clicks. This is for the pilot in command, passenger. Now, normally you would have every control services you have on the right and the left side, but another control here, this is called the collective. Okay, this controls basically the blades that I showed you earlier. And then this right here is your throttle. And typically you have this also on for the passenger side, but the owner removed it because it's not necessary. And another thing you should know is that this A600 is ADS-B compliance. As you know, earlier this year, FAA tells you that if you're going to fly in certain airspaces, you have to have the right equipment and this aircraft has it. All right, you see right there, well, there is it. The sun is in the way. So this helps you with your ADS-B in, okay? And the, the data from that transmits to the foreflight on here, which helps you see traffic and uh, and things like that. So with this aircraft, you've got ADS-B in and out. See, perfect. See right there? And, you know, just about everybody uses foreflight because it's just an amazing app. So for all of you out there, if you've ever wanted to build or own a two-seater helicopter, one that you can take about 200 miles, uh, this is a pretty neat option. And in terms of the cost, so the owner tells me that the kit costs about $160,000. Okay, now that comes with everything. So the kit to build the, the, the helicopter and the engine. So it comes with everything you need, all inclusive for 160 grand. Uh, you probably pay a few thousand dollars less if you go for the for the standard kit that's not turbocharged, but that's about how much you're looking at to have a finished airplane. I said airplane helicopter like this. Uh, let me back up a little bit just so you see just how nice this thing looks. And like I said, this is I'm, we're in front of the driveway. This is something you can take off <laughs> from your driver. That's the the beautiful thing about helicopters. Okay, this is my review of the A600 Turbo from Rotaway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to Mojo Grip with the notification on. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.